So my friend Brittany and I were looking for this one cave in the water, but we ended up finding some other cool stuff and I wanted to show it to you guys. I thought this was the right cave, so I went down to check it, but when I got inside, I realized it wasn't. It still was cool, so I swam through to say hi to all the fish. The water was so beautiful on this day, I really felt lucky to be out there. Then I found these two puff boys. I guess one of them could have been a girl, I never asked. I finally found the baby sea turtle. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but there's a fishing line right near him. I went down to see where the fishing line went. I followed it to one end and saw that it ended. So then I started following it the other way. I know what you're thinking. This is one of those dumb TikToks where I follow the string. Well, you're right. First I found it was attached to this bottle. It's so weird. And then I saw the fishing line was on a three-way and not the good kind either. I had collected so much that I had to bunch it up so that it didn't get caught on the reef. I kept following the line down and found that it was stuck to the reef here. And then it was attached to this big chunk. I got that part off, but remember there was another line going a different direction from the three-way. I'll have to follow that line and get that part off too. Come back for the next part or go on my YouTube channel. On my dive the other day, I almost saw this sea turtle get caught on this fishing line. I started to clean it up, but it was a lot more than I realized. I cleaned it off the coral on one end, but then realized that the string was going really far in another direction also. What you don't see in this video is that every time I pull it off a coral head, I have to go back up to the surface to get some air. This is about 30 or 40 feet deep, so it's really difficult to get it off. Just to get these last few bits took me about 30 minutes, but I finally found the end. I hooked it all together so that I could bring it back to shore. On our way back, we finally found the cave that we were looking for. We found it in the exact moment that this turtle swam into it. It was so lucky. We swam in it for a little bit, but honestly, I was so tired from pulling up the fishing line that I was ready to go home. Then I found this on the way back. When I was looking at it, I was like, wow, that looks like a bag of concrete. And then I tried to pull it up and it was literally a bag of concrete. How does this get out here? Then Brittany found this really cool shell. Ooh. Ooh. Yay, pretty shell. Nice find, Brittany. I don't know if you can tell, but I have major goosebumps. I got so cold out there. If you want to know more about the fishing line that was out there endangering sea turtles, I put up a YouTube video explaining it. Nice find, Brittany.
The other day, I was out snorkeling with my friends and we heard a big splash. I turned around quickly to see if it was a shark, but I couldn't see anything in the water. And then, out of nowhere, there was this flappy, swimmy manta boy. I couldn't believe it. And he's feeding off of whatever's here. I probably swam here 200 times, never seen that before. Oh my god, he's swimming right at us. He was so friendly, he kept coming back to swim with us. Wow, he really be flapping, though. Oh my god! And then we saw this spotted eagle ray in the same water. What the heck? They were like right next to each other. I couldn't believe how lucky we got. He kept swimming closer and closer to us. Both of my friends got really good looks at him. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was such a cool day. I couldn't believe it happened. Before he left, he wanted a fist bump to say goodbye. Later, dude. I missed that one, sorry. <laughs> I got that one. Say it again? I'm having the coolest day ever. <laughs> I am. Oh my god. That was so cool, was it not? I yeah. Don't know if you no, it's dope. Or go snorkeling with a pro student. Dang it, we're missing out on the action! Oh my god, he's swimming right at us. <laughs> Never. That's your first time? Yeah, that's what I just said. I've dove here like 200 times. Never oh. saw one here before. Dude, that is so cool. And then I've only swam with them in Big Island. Wow. So this is my first manta ray swim on this island. Wow. That was so cool. I know, and it swam right at us. And did you see how close I got? Yeah, you guys, You guys could have swam with them. I would have gotten videos. Thank <laughs> you. 
that looks cool when you're just chilling there. Let uh, Giselle go. Get in there, bruh. They're chill. It's so nice. He almost gave you a high five. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They're quick. dancing together. <laughs> Yeah, just don't swim at it from behind. Oh God, is it gonna hit me? It's not dangerous, just all animals you don't want to chase from behind.